Evening. Another, another match with Norfolk Angling Club. 25 booked in for this one. This is Overstrand Beach. So just along from Cromer and it is a um, sandy, quite a shallow venue, but capable of, uh, of producing some good fish. So three and a half hour match tonight. We're fishing till 10.30. So let's see what happens. Right, draws underway. Dwayne and I were talking, so we missed out. Mike Top in there, peg 19. He's the one to watch at the minute. 17, you're throwing me in, is that common? <laughs> I think you're strong. What you got? 17. <laughs> <laughs> Not a good start, John. Is that next to you? <laughs> I've got you one side. That's and not I've good. Got the other. Unlucky for some. And you've got you're in for 13. Yeah, you're in for a pop of poo night. <laughs> nice to see you back, Roger. Thank you. All right, let's get, mine let's get down there. Well, there you are, peg 13, so I'll be between uh, Leon and. Uh, Ian, I think, but just down straight under the car park. Not one I'd have picked, to be honest, but got to get on with it now. Well, there you go. That's what the sea looks like. So nice little bit of swell on the edge and uh, calm further out. So that's Chrome up here, right in the distance up there. Next to me tonight is Ian Childerhouse. And that's the slope you've got to negotiate if you want to fish down here car parks at the top of that little cliff so yeah we're fishing the tide up so that is probably low water now but yeah when I saw the weather forecast yesterday I thought it might be a codlin but looks more like dogfish to me if anything time will tell I suppose beautiful evening Traces tonight, really simple as usual. Three hook flapper, start with that. Hopefully that'll work, six ounce lead on the bottom. Nice short snoods, I think they're about eight inches, something like that. And bait wires tonight. Blow lug, worked all right last week. And I've got a few bits of mackerel there. But blow lug predominantly, I reckon. If there's a bass, Codlin, whatever's out there, we'll try and catch it with that. Yeah, well, it looks like we're going to get the first couple of casts in daylight, which would be nice. But my preferred end of the beach would be up there, just because of previous match results. That's a good idea to keep an eye on them. You soon get an idea of where's fishing and where's not. I've not been in a match that's been won from this section before, so we'll see hopefully tonight will be the night when it all changes a few minutes to the off and i can tell you that uh, ian's on the same approach as me lug worms free hook flapper normally does does the business if there's anything here yeah it looks like it's could be all right no weed laying on the beach which is a good thing but yeah and it's a groined beach so sometimes if there's a bit of tide pull you have to be a bit careful but hopefully there won't be any snags here because last time it was a challenge for a few people losing gear so hopefully that's not the case but whether i've done the right thing on bait choice or not i don't know blow lugs good good bait along this part of the coastline does really well but peeler crab also does and some of the some of the chaps tonight have um have managed to source themselves some some good quality peelers so that can very often make a difference particularly with the codlin dogfish and the bass but i've caught all them before on uh, on blow lug so hopefully we're doing the right thing but you'll know in three and a half hours time. I'm going to chuck it as far as I can to start with. See what happens there. Right, everyone's in the water. That's Leon to my right. Uh, yeah, he's out there about 35, 40 yards. 
early bass or flounder perhaps and then there's this big groin here and I'm just just there so be nice to get something before it get dark but be nice to get on the card tonight whatever happens always tricky because it's basically winner takes all biggest flat gets a prize biggest round gets a prize winner overall and lucky peg so got to try and catch a bonus fish somewhere along the line because catching them little whiten and stuff no good but there's no reason why there shouldn't be something decent here looks all right perfect bit of sea if I it was a month's time I'd uh, be fishing just behind that breaker there for a bass but old ear Ian's uh, pulling up the beach a bit of weed on the line that's bad news because we haven't even started the flood yet that can be a be a bloody nightmare that stuff Let's see if he's got anything on here hopefully he's got got something other than a crab and weed but you never can tell yeah see all the weeds clinging to the rod tip that's bad might have something hanging on the end there, a bit of weight there. No, it's just the weed. That's not good, Ian. Weed. Pain in the arse. All these shallow beaches can fish really well, but they are all prone to bunging you up with weed as well. Can't leave it out there too long or I'm going to have a, an issue as well. Uh, can't believe it. That's Leon. It's too far for me to get over this groin, but he's got a double shot of dogfish on the first chuck. And that's only been out there 10 minutes. Well done! And further along the beach, young Jack Topping, he's got a dogfish as well. So yeah, good start in the bay to my right. Nothing yet in my bay, but nice to be here in daylight for a change. Well, everyone to our right is catching dogfish, my first cast. Triple shot of white in, they're probably all undersized. Follow me everywhere they do. Bloody things. Never mind. Back out there now anyway. Hopefully better luck this time. Well a really good start if you like dogfish in the uh, pegs to my right, just the other side of that groin. I think they've all had a few. All had uh, they've all got fish on the card. One of my white and was big enough. One went 27, but obviously that's no good. But apart from that, um yeah pretty grim in this little bay there's four anglers in here nothing apart from that white in so it just goes to show doesn't it but uh fish can move and they can swim and they can they can turn up at any time so just gotta keep keep going out there so we've got another one in the bucket so the bucket's always got water in it and there uh, white in again and I think here go about 27 centimeters probably get him on the card it looks just about there but uh, yeah no dogfish for me so we could be searching for the heaviest flatfish of the evening but what a lovely night Overstrand Beach is a good venue lots of people have some good sessions here but you gotta be fit because you gotta negotiate that cliff and the ramp that goes down from it but apart from that really easy to fish to be honest nice and comfortable right i just had a slack liner so uh, the result of that was a dogfish and i've invested in an extra long ruler so i am going to be able to show you what that measures you can see what that's going to be like proper pain in the ass i'll get him back in the water and then i'll take him to ian he can deal with that 
Never used to be any dogfish in Norfolk, although I couldn't catch them 20 years ago. Unheard of in matches and now there's hundreds of them. And they're big point scorers, but I'd rather get a bass. Well, after the dogfish, I was quite optimistic I'd get another one, but we're back on the little white in, tangled the rig up, made a right mess. So let's get them in some water and see if I can sort that out. Very disappointing. Right, an hour and a half gone. I'm afraid there's not much to report in this groin. There's been a couple of decent white in further to my left. I've just had a string of undersized ones, but didn't want to video them. But uh, an hour and a half gone and we are pushed right back up onto this wall. So I'm hoping I'll be able to get away from f with fishing on the steps because otherwise, alternatively, it means up there. And that's going to be a nightmare if we do manage to hook anything decent. So yeah, we're on the steps already and we've still got another two hours to go. So backswing is going to be non-existent. It's just going to be a little overhead lob out I think which isn't ideal but yeah it's just how it is on this section of the um of the beach but never mind that might force us to come in close and that might be where the fish are you never know doubt it though um because the dogfish that I've seen caught have been out there a fair way and it's a very flat sandy beach but We'll keep trying, and I haven't seen a flatfish come up the beach yet, so there's always that possibility. Oh yeah, that's where we are at the minute. I wouldn't normally show you this, but this is the smallest dogfish I've ever caught. There he is. And a little whiting on the top. So probably no points for either of them. I don't know what the dogfish size limit is in Norfolk Angling Club. I'll get it checked out, but that is a tiny little, diddy little dogfish. Right. And there was a crab attached to the white in as well, where he was on the hook with the white in, so triple shot, but nothing any good. Never mind. I knew it wouldn't be uh, forever before you see Ian, so what you got, Ian? One dogfish. Yeah. Oh well, you're on the card mate, well done. <laughs> that's going to be treacherous now. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's a pain in the arse up on this wall. Well, I've just had another white in and a couple of little ones and uh, yeah, that's how they leave your trace. What a mess. Yeah, twisted up and the shallower venues and the smaller the white in, the worse it is. Yeah, unpick that now before we do anything else. Well, I'm busy catching little white in and Ian's had two dogs in two casts, same size as the other one, I should imagine. Really good points. Well done, mate. That's it. Got to get some it on video. <laughs> well, we're right up on the wall now and uh, that's great to see Ian get a couple of fish. He's got two fish for 130 points that last dog was sort of 60 centimeters so that's a good one. 59 anyway something like that um but he's had the last two fish on squid so the lug and mackerel are yielding white in although most of them are undersized but he is now doing the business squid heads about 70 yards 80 yards something like that so that's what's happening at the minute I need a flatfish, I think, because down to my right they were catching dogs from the start, so I'm not at the races. But Ian's been fishing for bass since we got here, and uh, he's got two clonking dogfish, so he's doing all right. But they're all a cracking bunch. It doesn't matter who you get pegged next to. They're all uh, they're all very pleasant customers to enjoy the evening with, so it's all good. Uh, rod well, tips rattling away, whiting, I reckon. Two more white in for me, but one of them's undersized for definite. One should be in. But right, I have had information there's dogfish all along the beach, so we're out of it probably with an hour to go. I'm gonna go for the biggest flatfish. Try and get a flounder out of this, salvage something. Ian's joined me now on the, for safety reasons, uh, so he's uh, 
he's happily jogging along and on the same squid head he caught the last two he got another dogfish there look. a bit smaller than the last yeah. ones but that's three on the card he's doing well and sneak round here. Yeah. Bit hard to iron out but you're doing well mate. <laughs> I've got a whiting in the bucket as usual. They're not having that mackerel though. Don't want that one little bit. Right here and I are making do and uh, a rattle on the rod tip there's a whiting on there but he won't be content until he's tangled me into oblivion. So Ian's just there we've sacked off the allocated pegs because you can't get down there safely so we're just fishing off these steps and lobbing it out there about 40 yards and just making the most of the evening I've known Ian a long time now so uh, we get on fine so it's still all right and we just have to sort it out between us so we don't cross lines but there's not a lot of tide just got to watch that groin to my right apart from that we're doing all right we're catching fish every cast Ian's a big and mine a small and uh, he's got a couple of squid heads left so you might see another dogfish yet but it's a bass or a big flounder for me that's what I'm after not these little whiting well I'm leaving Ian to the dogfish he's the one with the squid heads and that's what they're taking so I've opted miles behind up the other end of the beach they're getting loads of dogs so um, Pennell loaded with blow lug 30 yards out try for first decent bass of 2024 it looks like there's another dog on there let's see uh, all on that squid head 40 yards out that'd be another dog fish here he comes Can't get too close to that wall, it's covered in algae. There he is. Another one on the squid. Well done, mate. Right, let's see if we can get this bass. Just over half an hour remaining. I've been trying to get a flat fish or something, a bass, and uh, that's what I get. You can't do much about that. But yeah, tonight's not going to be my night. Never mind. Well, one cast remaining. Uh, unfortunately, uh, dogfish have gone quiet for Ian, and I just keep getting little whiting on that panel with lugworms so they're still obviously here in numbers and they're not big fish either i've had a few up to sort of 30. so there you go that's it but this sea is pretty angry now i thought that'd be ideal for a cod or something if there's going to be one here it could be now um no bass to my knowledge around us anyway got one cast left as i say so you never quite know but it's not looking good at the minute but there you go you can only try but that has been uh, I've enjoyed this last hour sitting here with Ian and uh, and trying for the biggest flat and the whatever that's all right I quite like doing that but yeah it looks like we'll have to wait till next week which is at Cly and then it's carp gap after that so hopefully I'll be at both of them and we'll see if we can winkle that first decent bass of the season out perhaps someone's got one tonight who knows but yeah another little white in banging around on there now yeah there we are Ian's got his tactic spot on tonight he's hit them dogs hard with uh, with the squid they wouldn't take anything else but yeah what's he got this time it's going to be a last, uh, his last go and then we'll be up in the car park see how well he's done. Sum it on there. Another dogfish. On the squid. You've done some damage tonight Ian. Load of dogfish. There you go. We'll get him measured in. Uh, 
Bloody hell, the sea's crashing in off this wall. Luckily, we're going home in 10 minutes. Well, we've got to go to the car park yet. You could have done all right after this, Ian. We right up there, mate. Right, we're back in the car park. We had to abort the last cast, really. It was, uh, waves were crashing in. Ian and I both got soaked. So we're back up the top and he did really well snitching them dogfish out, 40 yards out on, where well, he used the same squid head for all the fish, I think. But uh, nonetheless, we're back in the car park. Let's see how well he's done. Cause he has, uh, he's performed well tonight. Credit to him. We're on. We on, are we? All right, boys and girls, welcome back. Oh, before I go too far, Egid, bless your soul, has brought some presents for the little ones. Oh, bless you. Rob, where's Jacob? Jacob, he's there. There you go, it's more Easter eggs, more chocolate. Well done, Egid, thank you. <laughs> Sorry, Twain, you missed out on that as well, mate. <laughs> and a lot of them missed out on that. <laughs> okay, so I've just done the top five. That's pretty tight, really. There's no blanks. So fifth was Jamie Childerhouse with two four six fish two four eight. Fourth, Kev Green, eight fish two five eight. Third, Mike Toffin. Seven fish, two seven four. Well done, well done. Second, Ian Childerhouse, six fish, three one six. Well done, Ian. And tonight is his night, Tom Gibbs. Twelve fish, three hundred and thirty points. And Matt. Well done, Tom. Nice one. <laughs> Tom, come back, come back, Tom. Just make sure it's got this green. Then we'll do bigger round. Anyone you like, mate? 44. 44. Oh, I'm going to have a top one. Can you do it? Do whatever you want. Oh, it's number six, Neil Ryan. Yeah, yeah. Well done, Neil. There you go, mate. There you go, mate. And last but not least, Rob Ford, sickest round. Well done, well done, Rob. 65 centimetre dog. Well done, Rob. <laughs> there you go, mate. You've got your pound, Jamie. <laughs> <laughs> right, where are we next week? I don't know, I can't remember. Clay. Up the clay. Clay. Clay, let's see. Yeah, Monday the 8th. Clay. How should Rod's been getting these? Fish in the air. <laughs> Thanks, Carl. <laughs> Brilliant. Thank you very much. Well done, all. Cheers, Roger. We'll see you later, mate. Cheers.